Hello everyone, welcome back to Better Than Wolves. Today it's just me on my own, it's episode 13. Uh, the reason it's not I'm on my own today really is, uh, first of all, I don't know, Max just isn't here. Uh, that's that's one of the reasons. And the second reason, it's actually been uh, quite a while since the last episode went out, quite a while since I recorded the last episode with Max. Um, I uh, did a few things on, on a live stream, a couple of people were there watching. Um, I actually got quite a few people at one point, but... Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. I had a reason to actually play Battle of the Walls on my own. The live stream was pretty fun. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys, um, for those who weren't there, what we did in the live stream. Um, we didn't really do too much structurally. We didn't really build too much or really get much done. Uh, but what we did do is, um, first of all, we smelted up pretty much all of our, uh, you know, stuff over here. Uh, we smelted up. Um, we got a lot more eggs. Uh, we got some scrambled eggs, and I'll show you how we got that in a minute. You also have to have a bucket in my inventory. But you can see our ores are now smelted up both our iron and our gold. Um, haven't been mining since, uh, but we still, as you can see, have a lot of my iron and gold. We have a lot of hemp going on. We have a little bit of clay as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, so it's all going pretty nicely. Uh, a bit more uh, wool as well, and I'll show you why, because if we come over here, you can see that if we come down here, I've also got some saplings, so I went up to find some trees. Found three saplings, and they're just planted. I'm waiting for them to grow. They haven't grown for absolutely ages. They were, they've been there for about half the stream. If we come in here, you can see that we've actually got a lot more chickens. Uh, we've got a lot more chickens hanging out here. It's pretty nice. And um, we're going to have an area for the pigs to go. Mind out that. And I've also mined out this area over here, um, which is our sheep and our cow pen, which is really good. Um, we're going to need some wheat, though, to start actually breeding these guys. So that might take a little while, while uh, the pig pigs will actually eat chocolate. But we can't really get chocolate yet, because we need to go to the nether uh, to get cauldron. You know, to get the netherrack for a cauldron, and then we also need to get diamond. Um, so that might be a little bit difficult uh, to do at this stage. And that is exactly why today we're going to go mining. Um, because we need to get a whole load of materials, and it's pretty important that we go mining, because otherwise um, we, just won't, we just won't have the uh, resources we need to actually continue with this game. So I've got an iron pick, but I think I'm going to make another one, uh, just in case. Okay guys, let's go into these caves. Right, so there's a pretty sort of small cave system that I start to explore over here. I don't think... Ooh, this goes a little bit dark down here. Let's make sure that all of this is bright. Okay, this looks okay. Down here... Looks sort of fine. It goes pretty deep though. I wonder how far it goes. I think I've explored. This doesn't actually go anywhere, I don't think. Yeah. Sort of just curls off. There's a bit of coal here though. We'll definitely collect that. Any amount of coal is good, because it's so important that we have a load of coal to make torches. And uh, once we have enough torches, um, or enough coal to sustain our torches, then we can actually, at some point, uh, start uh, getting nether coal once we have uh, necessary stuff there. So once we get some netherrack, we get some nether coal, and that will make our coal a lot more efficient. So you grind up a piece of coal, a piece of netherrack, and you get nether coal, which is four times as good as coal, I think. That's how I remember it from the old Bet and the Wolves. I don't know if it's changed or got worse, but that's pretty much how I remember it. So these scrambled eggs are actually a really good food source. They, um, I should probably be using these half slabs. They uh, restore two and a half hunger slots, which is really, really good for any food, really. Um, I seem to be lagging a little bit. I think that might be because I've got um, loads of stuff running, really. I've got, hit, uh, I've got this sort of new editing thing that I'm going to try out running, which might be causing a little bit of lag. But uh, I don't really need anything over normal render distance at the moment, because I'm going to go caving. Oh, here we go. This looks pretty deep. God, this does look very deep, in fact. Oh, there's even some zombies down there. Brilliant. Okay. Perfect. That's just absolutely brilliant. Well, at least we have a bit of... Um, God, I think the zombie's going to try and climb up and get me. Um, do we have a V-Sync or something on? Maybe we want to turn that off. That would be a little bit better. There we go. It's a lot cleaner now. Okay. So. Iron. Very important in Bentham Walls. We need about 27 iron to re-sort of reinstate the um, iron we used to actually make the pickaxe. So on this entire journey, if we use up both pickaxes, we want to make at least 54 iron. We'll get at least 54 iron ore. Which might be a little difficult, but 
definitely worth it. Definitely worth making sure that we we make that um, threshold. So so far looks pretty safe. There is one zombie down there which I could see, but that's all the way down there. Um, a little bit of stuff here it seems. Or coal. Very important to continue to look at coal. So yeah, basically, um, down here to just sort of find diamonds. That is my goal. This cave goes all the way down to diamonds. We definitely want to find some. Um, and uh, therefore, we can start making, you know, some diamond tools. Maybe some uh, uh, nether portal, some another portal if we get some obsidian. But like a creeper there that fell down. Oh god. This is a little bit bad. A little bit scary. But that did look like a creeper. Just can't see it. God. God, the skeleton. Ow. Okay, that was a close one. Oh god, this is pretty, um... I don't like this already. This is pretty intense. He's holding a shovel, look, though. Is that gonna give us a shovel? Ah, oh, yes, we got a shovel. We got a new shovel, which we can get some iron from. Perfect. Oh, that's really good. Of course, we can smelt that down later on to get some iron back. Well, that was close. Hey guys, uh, this is me talking after the video. Uh, from this point onwards, uh, this is actually a second mining trip. Uh, I actually went AFK back at the base uh, because I had to go. Um, so I nearly died, but this is uh, here on after. Okay, there's more down there. We definitely want to get deeper. And uh, the reason that we need to find a cave rather than just sort of go straight down to bedrock and find diamonds is because, as you can see here, the uh, color of the ground is like a lot um, it's a lot darker and that is because uh, in burn the wolves there's like uh, stratification which means the rocks get harder and harder as you go down so the first top level which is sort of the light level which you can see here uh, this lighter color um, is the standard layer uh, which is where you know um, sort of the stone and, uh, and wood can mine here, down at this level, where we're sort of started to go into now, is the layer that only uh, iron or better can mine. And then there's going to be a final level where only diamond or better can mine. Of course, diamond is in that layer, so we need to find a cave system that goes all the way down there, uh, rather than having to just strip mine, because we can't just sort of mine a big sort of cave down to, uh, to lava level. Find diamonds in that way. We have to actually go through a cave that's already been carved out by the terrain, so that we can find the diamonds. Um, otherwise, we won't be able to, like, you know, dig any of the stone there. So, pretty crucial that we do find diamonds. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the reason we're down here, is to find a cave that does go... Oh, are you kidding? Oh, it keeps going. Okay, that's fine. I'd like to just light up a little bit more ahead of me. Because otherwise, I'm going to get lost. Uh, because otherwise, uh, sorry. Because mobs could just sort of just you know, walk up to me. Um... It sort of just protects me, uh, any mobs that are spawning in that immediate area, so I can have enough time to sort of protect myself before they sort of get to me. Um, of course, creepers, however, will be silent and therefore a little bit more dangerous. But what's creepers, I guess? Uh, but they're, they're a lot easier to fend off now that I've got shears. I can just um, just attack them with the shears, and it's all fine. Okay. Oh, is that an abandoned mineshaft? I think I found an abandoned mineshaft. That is um, that is unbelievable. That is so good. But I need to get down there first. Oh my god, I can't believe I found one of them already. I really don't want something to sneak up on me. That'd be really bad. I'm just mining all this coal, though. So nearly fell there. We're getting down to the really, really deep levels now. So we might have a chance of actually finding some diamond. Oh my god, this is... This is really good. 
Okay. Right, let's just keep carving a path down. Oh no, that's sort of my already there path. I'll just keep going this way. It's fine with me. Okay. We're gonna hit the uh, the cave in a minute. That's when the zombies are gonna start sort of pouring out of the caves. Where'd that zombie go. Oh god. There it is. Ow. Okay, took him down. Looks like he got stuck in there. Looks like to be a hole down there, which I could have easily fell into if I wasn't careful there. Okay. Right, I think I'm going to explore this here. I really want to get to diamond level. There seems to be a lot of zombies. But a good amount of iron. So you can see, I can't mine this stone, but I can mine the ores. Oh no, I can't get the iron down there. It's a shame. I might be able to actually. Okay, there we go, got it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna block this off for now. Okay, that looks blocked. Still worried about things following me up from behind though. This looks a little bit safe. This is really not safe. That was a bit close, I think. Oh, I feel, I feel very much in danger here, which is never good. I can hear them walking around above me. Oh God, this is not good. So I just need to find three diamonds, and then I will have enough to make a diamond pickaxe. Get some obsidian. Need to find a lava lake as well though. Go down with a bucket of water and just pour tons of water over it. Looks like I might run out of torches though which might be an issue. So I might need to chop down some of that wood, get some sticks and make some torches with that. But I don't know how far that's going to get me. Because my axe is running pretty low as well. But do remember guys, I still have this pickaxe and another one as well, so definitely not going to run out of pickaxe uh, you know, durability before we do out of torches or anything else. Our armor is doing okay, our wool armor though is doing pretty poorly. Doing pretty well, this mine trip hasn't gone too badly so far. There's nothing, nothing disastrous has happened. But as you can see, it's so dangerous to mine venables, just mining. It's so stressful because you die and you have to find your way back and that is not easy and you also lose everything on you it is so bad so so bad okay right let's get a bit of wood so lucky we found this otherwise I would have run out of torches okay let's chop some stuff make a crafting table chop some more logs Make another axe, then make some more torches. Okay, let's turn this all to sticks. First, get another axe. There we are. Okay, it's good. The rest can become torches. So let's just chop down some of this wood for now. Okay, well, let's run out. hear them walking around and I keep thinking they're coming up behind me, it's so worrying. Oh jeez. It is pretty... What is that there? Oh, is that a spider web? Okay. As you can see, this is pretty nerve-wracking. I'm not speaking too much, this is just really, really quite intense. Okay, well that's got me a lot more 
stuff now. Okay. I feel like I can continue somewhat. This seems safe, which is good. Okay, there's nothing behind there, luckily. It's a load of coal there, that's really good. Still no diamonds. So we got one diamond. Ah! 